time to get inspired. Wow! That was a good book! You read that super fast! That's because I'm sitting in the lucky red chair. Good thing I have another book at my desk. I'll be right back. Hey, Maria, you're in my chair. I need you to move. It's not your chair. It's a classroom chair. But I wasn't done with it. I just got up to get another book. We have to take turns, Chris. That's not fair. It's still my turn. But I wasn't done. No, get out of my chair. I just got up to get another book. Chris, Maria, what's going on? Miss Flowers, Maria won't get out of my chair. Chris, why don't you sit in the yellow or blue chair? I don't want to sit in those. When you came back and saw Maria was in the red chair, did you ask her politely if you could have it back? No, I told her she was in my chair and she had to get out. Oh, you were being impulsive. Chris, the chairs belong to us all. We have to learn how to take turns and share them. And that means letting others have their turns as well. But it's my favorite! You were upset, but telling Maria she has to give the chair back to you isn't the right way to talk to her. You're not managing your impulsivity. Managing my impulsivity? How do I do that? By stopping and thinking before you do or say something. Here, let's try it right now. When you came back and saw Maria was in the red chair, what happened? I told her I wanted the red chair back and that she had to move. Hmm, that was being impulsive. Oh, it was? Yes, you reacted to seeing Maria in the chair without thinking about what you were doing first. Now imagine you and Maria traded places and she ran up to you and told you to move. How would you feel? Hey Chris, that's my chair, I need you to move. I would be upset because I was already sitting there. What would you tell Maria? I would tell her that we have to take turns and share. Sound familiar? Mm-hmm. When you rushed up and told Maria to move, you didn't stop and take the time to think about what you were doing. You were being impulsive. Oh. Now think how you could react differently next time. Hmm. <sighs> I can tell by that smile that you must have thought of something much better to say. Tell Maria what you'd say next time. Hey, Maria? The red chair is my favorite. May I have it back when you're done? Of course. I only sat here because Peter was in my favorite chair, the green one. Puss in Boots. Who ever heard of a cat in clothes? That's just silly. <laughs> <laughs> Now, wasn't that much easier than fighting over it? Managing impulsivity was much easier. And by managing your impulsivity, you were also able to talk to Maria like a friend, instead of being demanding and rude. Mm-hmm, I did. Excellent. Now, Chris, can you tell me what you learned from this? That I should stop and think about what I say before I say it. When we manage our impulsivity, it gives us time to make sure our words are helpful and not hurtful. Stop. Think. Act. That's it. I'm sorry for being impulsive about the chair, Maria. It's okay, Chris. Thank you for apologizing. You know, my book is really funny. Want to read it with me? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> How well do you know your Bible?
it's time to watch awesome people do cool stuff on trends on net. Time to dance to my favorite music. Hakuna 
So kids, I hope you've had fun on this episode of High Five. See you next week.